Uh, Danny, many congratulations. Uh, another win. What do yeah. you make of it? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, the three points is massive. Uh, I think there was a lot of cliches from us as staff before the game in terms of all due respect, Auction, we've got to come here and win if you've got any ambitions of, of getting out of the league. And that's nothing against Auction because I don't think our record against them is very good at all. They're a very good football inside, which causes no end of problems over the last few seasons. But today was our day. Uh, we were saying that it might need to be a different type of win today. You know, and that, in, you know, in hindsight, that turned out to be going a goal down, losing a couple of players for injury. And what you got, and like I've said before, to, to get out of this league, you have to overcome so many hurdles, whether it's iffy decisions, injuries, bad pitches, whatever. Uh, and today was a great day, especially for all those travelling fans to leave here and, uh, and see us get those three points in a, in a slightly different fashion. What was the message to the players at half-time after being 1-0 down and having suffered those two injuries as well? Yeah, I think the gaff was very very much along the lines of stay calm, keep doing our thing. We had some great play in the first half. You know, We're disappointed with the goal uh, first half. It was a, a second phase from a set play. We scored two set plays, but you know we don't sort of then just think about the things that uh, we did well. We also think about the things that we could do better on. And sometimes it takes a bit of pain today to, to concede a set play or, or wherever the goals come to go, actually, you know, that, that won't happen again for us. And It's a long way to go, but but it's certainly been a great start uh, and like I, like I said earlier the, the fact we've come in and we've lost a couple of extra injuries and we're 1-0 down at half time it's the first time we've had to, to come back to uh, come back from a goal down to win a game and we did it comfortably in the end and that shows the character and the spirit within the squad doesn't it yeah and it's a word you know we all keep saying character and that to me especially in this 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 league it's so tough to get out of and yes skill passion and speed and whatever you want to call it is massive but character you know and to go a goal down and uh, like I say two lads coming off injured in the first half doesn't happen very much uh, second half to come back and not only win 2-1 but to constantly be a threat to concede some uh, free kicks towards the end uh, and then defend the box really well it was a great testament to the lads you know Lucas was excellent coming for things and it just makes everyone calm when you've got someone who does that Cabs up there could go for them all the three points is massive and you know when you hear the fans singing we're top of the league you know that they know something that we don't uh, so we always looked at each other and I bet to me Gaffer and Gary said oh we must be top which is great and I think it's I think it was two goals in, in three or four minutes that was, it was some comeback wasn't it in, in the early stages of that second half yeah it was uh, we've been doing a lot of work with, with Tyrone and Grimes you know the bigger physical players from our set pieces to get the timing right when they're attacking their runs you know we, as you can see we do some great little bits of interplay from short corners but it's important when, when it does come in the box from wide free kicks or corners you know we're a threat and uh, Tyrone especially today for obvious reasons was, was excellent his timing was great and uh, that's down to him and his willingness to do it Obviously, we'd have to talk about the injuries. First of all, Quasi Asante had to, had to come off for about 10 minutes. How's he? That, yeah, I mean, it, like, the problem is when, when people come off the pitch for injury, it, it's, it's, it's not true to say, oh, I think it's all right. It's obviously not very good because he's come off, they've had to come off the pitch at that time. There's been no effort to play through it. Not through them, not trying to make the effort. But you literally can't move. So at the moment, you're saying it's not, they're not like, no, they'll be fine by tomorrow. We don't know anymore. I think Quasi was a, was a tight thigh. We're hoping that's all it is. And uh, Dobbs felt something painful on his ankle. So I'm hoping that's just a slight sprain, but we won't know more till tomorrow, sadly. Have they, either of those gone to hospital? or anything? Not that I know of, no. It's a difficult one. Quasi, Quasi hasn't, and it's a difficult one with Dobbs because it was just on half time. So you're off trying to see your right little man. And then also you, you're trying to sort out the second half. And I think you saw that the message that was, uh, was given to the, the team at half time worked because we, we started like a house on fire. You know, I, I did say at one point to you know, if, if we do score, go and grab the ball out the back of the goal to you know, a psychological one to show that we're not here just to take a point. And that spreads the, set, the fans see that they see us get the ball out the net, and also they know we're here to, to get the win, which is what we did in the end. Dobra's injury in particular probably looked the worst of the two. Just how much of a concern is that? Oh, it's always a concern. Yeah, it's always a concern. But that's what you've got, got squads for. You know, I think Jess come on was different class. James come on was different class. Caps come on to score, which is what he does for fun. Uh, so that's what squads are for. You know, else you just go into a, you just go into a, a game with the eleven and the five youth team players on the bench. So we've got to utilise our squad. Hopefully, you know they come back uh, this week and we all, we all uh, overreacted. But at the minute, we just uh, wish them the best and hopefully we'll find out in the morning that it's, it's better news than not. And I think Lucas Coverland was struggling towards the end as well. Is, is he okay? Yeah, I think he's fine. I think he. Uh, <laughs> I think he was, uh, his, his calf was a bit sore at some point and he just wanted to see if he'd get some attention for it, knowing that some boxes were coming in the box. 
And that's six games unbeaten, back-to-back uh, -back victories as well. How pleased are you with how things are shaping up so far? Very pleased, you know, very pleased. I think what's, what's great is that even though it's just a start, you know, we're not chasing people's tails at the minute. If we were sitting 13th, 14th in the league, the whole vibe of the club, the crowd, the town, it, it, it needs a bit of charging up. Mm. At the minute, they're coming, as you saw today, they're coming the games fully charged, ready, ready, ready to have it. Like So that's what's really good. We're doing it for them and they're doing it for us and, it, and it's a mutual thing. I think that uh, after the, you know, the fans and us as everyone yourself enjoy tonight and the next couple of days the players have got off, let's all focus on Oldham because that's going to be a real tough game. And as, as a bank holiday weekend, that's probably about as good as you could have asked for, isn't it? Six points and some, some good goals and, and some good performances there. Some good goals, good performances, uh, excitement, you know, uh, blood and guts and everything. It's, you know, it, this is what this league's all about, but it, it, only, it only gets exciting if you're up at the top of the league. It's not exciting if you're getting done 2-1 at home. And we've got to make sure that we keep it exciting for us. We keep winning. Uh, we keep getting points when we can. If you're not going to win, like today, if we weren't going to win, you, you don't lose. We go out and draw one off. But, we, you know, we went for the win. And uh, I'm so pleased for those players and the supporters, like I always say, that they're going home now. And like you say, Liam, it's been a fantastic bank holiday.